Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to show you how to just run a simple regression in Excel. And this is very helpful for many projects. Excel has a lot more functionality than I think a lot of people realize. Regression analysis is one of those very handy tools that you can use from time to time. So just to remind you what a regression model does, uh, you know, we've got one represented here. What we're really trying to do is estimate some coefficients, particularly the slope of the line. So if you remember, you know, when you're thinking about a straight line from, you know, high school algebra, the equation is always y equals mx plus b. m is the slope. We well, can think of that as this number here. This is sort of your mx plus b over here. So your intercept, the slope, and this is called the independent variable. So we're trying to find the relationship between the uh, dependent variable on the left-hand side of the regression and the independent variable on the right-hand side, and that relationship is expressed with the slope coefficient, which is this beta or b uh, letter right here. So let's go ahead and look at this in Excel. And what I've got here is a bunch of stock returns, so Oracle, Microsoft, IBM, Apple, Amazon, Tesla. I have an equal weighted portfolio of all six of these stocks and the S&P 500. And I've got five years worth of data, you know, going from 2016 through the year 2020. What I'm going to do is I just want to pick out one of these stocks and just kind of see what its relationship is with the S&P 500 represented by this exchange traded fund, SPY. So what is the relationship between those two, which is really what is the stock's beta. And so what I can do here is uh, you go over here and you've got to have analysis tool pack uploaded. And so I'll assume that you've already done that. But if you have done that, you can click data here and you hit data analysis. Okay. And you get this pop-up box. And there's a lot of different things you can do in here. One of which, of course, is regression analysis. So you scroll on down and you see regression right here. So I'm going to choose that and you get this pop-up window that comes up. And so it just kind of walks you through what you need to do. So you input your Y range. That's the left-hand side of the equation. So again, I'm going to try to find the stock's relationship to the S&P 500. So I'm going to pick one of these stocks. Let's just pick one at random. I'll pick IBM. So I'm going to choose cell D4 here. I'm going to hit Control, Shift, Down Arrow. And you will see that that actually, over here, populates that entire column from D4 to D63. Then I put the cursor in the input X range area, and I go back to the top. And now this is where I want to choose the S&P 500. So I'm going to choose cell I4 here. And again, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, down arrow. And I've got that chosen. Okay. Now, I need an output range. So I, I can do one of two things. I can either click on the output range here and just click in here and then click a cell, any cell in the Excel spreadsheet where it's going to output the regression. Or I can just click in here and hit new worksheet. So I'm just looking for a place to put my output. I'm going to use a new worksheet and just call this the, let's call it the output worksheet. Okay, and you can see there's not an output worksheet down here right now. I'm going to, it's going to create a new one. And so I'm going to, and you, there's other things you can do down here, but I'm just going to keep this very basic and hit OK. And now you can see it's actually created this new worksheet called output down here. And it's put in all of the analysis. So here you've got it. You've got the R the R squared and the adjusted R squared, which really tells you how much of the movement in IBM stock is explained by the, by the movement in the stock market, by your model, by your single factor model here. <clears throat> it's got the intercept uh, right here, which is 0.01. Because I'm using percentages here, it's basically, you know, this is basically saying if the market goes up, you know, one, or what, well, this is just saying that um, the intercept, sorry, is about point, uh, minus 0.01, so minus 0.01%. But the st st statistical significance of that is relatively low. It's not extremely high. It's minus 1.8 on the t test statistic. The x variable here, 
of course, is the this is your slope coefficient, 1.26. So that can be thought of as your beta here. So in other words, IBM's beta to the market is 1.26. So 1.26, you know, if we look back at the PowerPoint slide, uh, that would be this number here. One, uh, return of IBM is equal to you know, minus 0 0.01 plus 1.26 times the return of the market. So you know, going back here, you know, they basically means is IBM is a relatively high beta stock. It has a beta greater than one, so it's a relatively high beta stock. The test statistic here is 9.218, so statistically significant. Now, so we've got all that. That's very helpful. The other way you can do this. Uh, real quickly, if we go back in here, you can actually plot this as well, and gives you a similar type of a uh, an output. So, for example, if let, let me go back to the output screen and let me just create a chart here real quick. So, if I click on any cell here, I'm going to hit uh, I'm going to hit insert chart, and I'm going to choose a scatter plot. So, I happen to know that if you look at this, it says in, insert a scatter plot. So, let's do that. A scatter plot is great for regressions. So I'm going to choose that, and it says, okay, you better select your data. So if you go over here to the right side, I can hit select data. And it says, okay, give me the range. You know what, I, I'm just going to go straight here to this add area. I'm going to click add, and it says, give me the X values. So let's go back over here to the regression. And the X, again, this is the right-hand side, so that's your S&P 500. So I'm going to hit control shift down arrow. And then for the Y values, this is going to be my IBM, right? So I highlight that. I go to back to the top here. I'm going to hit this cell, hit Control, Shift, Down Arrow. OK. I'm going to hit OK. And it's actually plotted it out. I could do some more things now. I could add in a title and whatnot. But I'm going to just leave it as is for now. And here's a scatter plot. Now, it looks kind of like a one-for-one one relationship, but that's a little misleading because you can see the scale of the y-axis, or excuse me, the x-axis, which is the S&P 500, goes from minus 15 to plus 15 percent, whereas IBM's going from minus 30 to, you know, plus 25 percent. So I can actually make those on the same scale to get rid of that misleading uh, plot, and I could change the x-axis to go from minus 0.30 to plus 0.25 percent as well and then this will give you a better look at what what we've got here and you can see now it looks like it's fairly steep IBM so this is these are all the observations so so like this data point basically says on this day you know IBM uh, the market was up 10 point you know call it 10 point well it says right there the market was up you know 10.8 percent and IBM on that day was up 12.08%. So just on that day, that day could have been any day over the last five years. Okay. Any, any, uh, actually, um, these are monthly data, so any month over the last five uh, years. So one other thing, last thing I can do to show you the regression here is I can click on a data point, and then you go into, um, you go into over here, Add Chart Element. So let's click on that, and I can add a trend line. So I'm just going to go to more trend line options. So let's just pull that up. I'd like a linear because it's a linear regression model. So I'm going to add a linear line in there. But if I go to the bottom, this is kind of a nice feature here. You can do display the equation on the chart. And you can display the R squared too if you want. But I'm just going to leave it at that and, and click that. And, and you can see it's very small here, but it's put the equation in here. So if I zoom in on that just a little so you can see that a little better. You can see it's 1.26, and remember that's your slope, right? So that's the same as if I go over here, 1.26. That's my x-axis um, slope coefficient. So that is my beta. So IBM equals 1.26x minus the uh, the coefficient, right? The um, intercept, which is minus 0.01%. And you can see that intercept, that's where it intersects this line right here. So you can do it through a chart or you can do it through the more formal regression analysis. But it's a very powerful tool uh, in, uh, that Excel does. They do, they do quite a bit and it makes finance fun for. Thank you. And if you like the video, you know, please give it a thumb up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, which is all about making finance fun for students.